What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S22 Ultra will get a major boost in graphics power based on Qualcomm's recently announced Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset and also AMD's RDNA 2 architecture. Both of these chipsets offer significantly increased graphics quality as well as the CPU performance and while the phone would be unlikely to match the gaming consoles for overall power, but it's certain that this phone will be a smartphone gaming powerhouse. So with better power, there is a need for a better cooling system, otherwise the phone will run hot and it begins to throttle, thereby reducing the overall performance. So all these huge gains in the latest chipsets will be of no use if smartphone companies fail to include a better cooling system in a phone. And that's the reason Samsung has decided to use a vapor chamber cooling solution on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. That's according to Ice Universe, who got this information from the supply chain at Samsung. Right now, there are mainly two types of cooling systems that smartphone companies use. One is a vapor chamber, aka liquid cooling, and another is graphite cooling. In the latter, they use the material called graphite, which has a good thermal conductivity, which means it absorbs the heat coming from the chipset and then throws it out of the phone, mainly through the back of the phone and sometimes from the display as well. In the vapor chamber, they use liquid to cool the phone. When the processor heats, the liquid absorbs the heat and vaporizes. This hot vapor then travels to the cool cavity area of the vapor chamber and turns back into liquid again. Thus, it releases the heat absorbed. And this whole process repeats again. So technically, the vapor chamber is a superior cooling system and it's also a little more expensive. And that's the reason, if you remember, Samsung was debating whether or not to use this cooling system on the S22 Ultra to keep the cost down. Turns out they've decided to go with the vapor chamber cooling system, which is great news as this means the S22 Ultra will not only run cooler than its predecessor, but also it will have a sustained peak performance for a longer period of time if you really push the handset to its limits. With that said, South Korean media, the elect is reporting that Samsung is expecting the Galaxy S22 lineup to sell like hotcakes. They've increased the Galaxy S22's parts production and the company expects to sell at least 33 million S22 devices in the whole of 2022, out of which 11 million are from the S22 Ultra, 8 million from the S22 Plus and 14 million from the S22. Samsung's S-Series lineup has saw a decline in popularity in recent years and Samsung wants to change that. And that's why they're going to take some aggressive marketing approach to let more people know about the new devices. Overall, Samsung wants to sell 390 million devices in 2022 and they'll achieve that by stealing some of the market share from Apple and from other Chinese companies. Also here are the official wallpapers for the Galaxy S22 that will be pre-installed on the handset. Of course, do consider subscribing for all the latest S22 updates and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.